Good afternoon all. Uh, please join me as I have issues with geometry. Building my new power fence. Here it is. I got two of the solar panels up on the fence. I was going to call it a power wall but well, it's more of a power fence really. Now you can immediately see there's an issue and that is that the left hand panel well it's a bit squiffy isn't it? So here's the thing, I've bought these uh, eye bolts. I had to get them on eBay. It's another thing you just can't get locally, although yes, I know they, they are at screw fix. And I'm fitting them onto the holes in the solar panels. Now these three solar panels have holes all in different places. So the shelving uprights all had to be bespoke widths, which was uh, a bit of a pain. Anyway, this one's got its eye bolts on. Let's have a look at that. There's the eye bolt bolted into the back of the solar panel and it's sitting in a long shelving arm. The shelving arm colour is white and the shelving arm upright is graphite because in the old days you had two colours, black and white. Now you've got about 17 colours, okay not quite that many, which means that they never have any stock of the matching colour arms. It's just ridiculous, why do they do that? Okay at the top there's a short arm and that sets the panel at an angle which is lovely until you have geometry problems. So here's the issue, this fence is a slatted fence so each of these slats overlaps the next one which means that this is not a flat surface so when you attach uh, the graphite upright it's sitting at an angle and that means that these long arms, this is face on, you can see the long arm is pointing, well the end of the long arm is much further left than the end of the short arm and that means that this is not a rectangle, it's a squiffy parallelogram and so the panel doesn't really want to sit on there. What I think I need to do is get these uprights flat to the fence which means putting something behind the left hand edge Maybe some of that sort of beading stuff that you use to um, take the sh or hide the sharp edge of holes in metalwork. I think that's what I need. So as you can see, the left-hand panel seems like it's a bit high on the left, and it is because if I come over here and wiggle it, these arms are both sitting high. The top one is—it's not sitting down on its on these mountings. You can see there's a gap at the bottom there and there's a gap there so the whole thing is all squiffy and that means that the panel's not really sitting properly on the shelving brackets. So when I solve this problem, probably with some um, plastic beading which I'll put behind one edge of those uprights, uh, the power wall or power fence as I'm calling it is going to be those three solar panels, that one down there as well and these three batteries which I'm actually covering at the moment because I don't want them to get too much sun exposure I'll take the coverings off. So there they are, three monster 12 volt Trojans and I'm going to sit those as close to the fence as I can get one underneath each panel. It's a power wall. Then I've got to think of a way of um, connecting these batteries together and I might go for my low current approach where I just put very thin, relatively high resistance wires between these three batteries and, in, and indeed between these batteries and other batteries which are just sort of lying around elsewhere. So um, a relatively low current wire going from the power fence down to these two batteries which are sitting next to the um, diesel heater which is there inside my work zone. Oh yes the diesel heater that has failed. I fired it up the other day and it made a loud clunk and smoke started coming out of the inlet. So that needs fixing. And uh, these gel lead acid batteries here which sit outside of um, my workshop window currently being charged by the one remaining working solar charge controller on the right there, it's got its blue light on, 
fed by these high current cables I think they're sort of 25 amp twin and earth or maybe they're I can't remember what they are that sort of ilk but again I might run a very low current wire down to these batteries so that they just charge very slowly because my usage of these batteries is intermittent I might draw a few amps occasionally and then I can let them recharge slowly and uh, the other storage device it's not a battery it's on my PIR LED lamp uh, this one has its low current wire this is the uh, copper coated aluminium wire this is a super capacitor bank it's under there it's oh it's got a bit corroded but it's still working fine that PIR lamp still comes on so again another low current distribution from my power wall out to this thing and this is a long way away so this is how I'm going to do my solar power system my main energy generation and storage in these three big uh, lead acid batteries will be here on the power fence and then low current distribution to all the other storage devices batteries or supercapacitors dotted around the place but I do need to solve this geometry problem you can see if I point at the arms square on they look square if I move to the right which is more square on you can see that the top arm deviates to the left far less than the bottom arm and hence that's not a rectangle and of course the back of the solar panel is a rectangle so need to order some beading I think so that was a power fence update. Cheerio.